Hey, vinyl community. <laughs> Another video. It's about time, huh? Um, let's talk a little bit about Testament, one of my favorite thrash metal bands. But first of all, what's playing in the background is the second album by Morbid Saint called uh, Destruction System. They recorded the album after Spectrum of Death, but that was never released back in the day. So a couple of years, uh, High Roller did a vinyl version of that, and I got the tape. So, some harsh uh, thrash metal here. Enjoy it! So, Testament, yes, like I said, one of my favorite thrash metal bands. Um, their debut, for me, at least for me, is the best thrash metal album, um, thrash metal debut album ever released. Some of you might disagree. I know a lot of people I know think the same way. So my history with Testament started back in '87 when their first record came out, The Legacy. I heard the track Burnt Offerings on a compilation LP that I bought cheaply. It was the best, <clears throat> best song on the album, so I bought The Legacy. And since early 1988, that one is on my battle vest. Testament back patch. Yes. <laughs> ah. it says it all. I haven't worn this battle vest since um, probably 25 years ago, something like that. 90s, well maybe, yeah, mid 90s, almost 30 years ago. Alright, but it's uh, still in my closet and it didn't fall apart. So what I'm going to do is talk about the Testament live recordings uh, that are more or less officially available. After The Legacy they had one album out and already did a live EP. Live at Eindhoven, you all seen that, 1987. This one contains obviously tracks from the debut album, Over the World, Burnt Offerings, Do or Die, Apocalyptic City, and Reign of Terror. Reign of Terror would later appear on the <coughs> uh, Trial by Fire single. So that was unreleased until that came out. A couple of years ago, Prophetic uh, released that one. I've shown that a couple of videos ago. This is uh, the whole Testament show from Eindhoven looks a little bit different, talked about that. Sound-wise, this is a pretty raw. It's of course good sound quality, but the original has been touched up a little bit, so that one sounds better than the whole show. I don't mind, I love that concert. It's so energetic. Disciples of the Watch is on here, so they played a couple of songs already from uh, The New Order, The Haunting, Burnt Offerings is on here, Alex Golnick a solo, and Curse of the Legions of Death. Nice release, love it. On the Souls of Black Tour they didn't do a live album, but they released this little DVD. Read Between the Lines. This contains a couple of live snippets, backstage, some interviews, stuff like that. Running time of that is not too long. Uh, doesn't say on here. It probably does, <clears throat> but I can't read it. A nice document of, uh, of the time. Yes, if you find that cheap, Buy it. After releasing the Low album, 
the lineup of um, Chuck Billy, Greg Christian, Eric Patterson, uh, James Murphy, and on drums we have John Detty here. They released Life at the Fillmore. Also, a great, great concert, great track list. This one came out on Nuclear Blast Records. This is, this is a re release. I think the original came out on Spitfire or something, some strange label. It's a double LP set. Also, very, very energetic and not touched up in any way. So, you can hear mistakes on here, but it's got a same great sound quality. Uh, it's got Eerie Inhabitants, uh, The Preacher, Alone in the Dark, The New Order, Low, Into the Pit, Souls of Black, Practice What You Preach, Hail Mary, great song, Dogface Gods, great song, almost a death metal song, Return to Serenity, almost a ballad, <laughs> The Legacy and Trail of Tears. So the last uh, three tracks here are acoustic versions. Uh, they did uh, uh, an acoustic set in an Indian reservoir back in the day. So, Return to Serenity, The Leg Legacy and Trail of Tears are... Yeah. <clears throat> acoustic versions. Quite rare to hear Testament playing acoustic stuff. After the release of Demonic, yes, uh, their most hated album, during the release, or about the time of the release, they played the Dynamo Festival in Eindhoven again. So, 87. I wasn't at that concert. 97. They played a short set at, like I said, the Dynamo Open Air. I was at the 97 Dynamo Open Air. Yes, I saw Testament there. Exodus played there with uh, Paul Bellof as well. Cradle of Filth, Sick of It All, stuff like that. But most important, Testament. They did a great show, believe me. This is only a short set, so it's a single LP. It's got a little bit of a write up about the Dynamo Open Air in general. Look at look at the pictures. Uh, the Dynamo was a muddy festival with um, around a hundred thousand people. So, yes, I was part of that. Track listing. Of course, they started with a demonic refusal. Low, over the wall, burnt offerings into the pit. The new order, dark faced gods, and disciples of the watch. This one came out just recently on Dynamo Records or Dynamo Concerts. I don't know if it's still available. I think it is. It's a 2023 release. So, after Demonic, uh, they had a short hiatus. Um, they came back and re-recorded uh, a couple of their older tracks. The record is called First Strike Still Deadly and then we had a couple of years of silence and in 2008 I think they came back with the Life in London LP. This one is on, uh, this is a back on black. It's not a reissue but it's the first time they pressed that on vinyl. <coughs> But it's on back on black. It's got ho, 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 12, 18, 26 songs, 21 songs. I'm sorry. The thingy looks like that. And it's got a variety of, of their tracks um, of course the preacher the new order the haunting electric crown they played sins of omission uh, 
uh, Trial by Fire they played when they came back. Let Go of My World. And Raging Waters. Raging Waters is one of my fav favorite tracks by Testament. And I happen to be at the reunion show in 2003, sorry, not 2008, 2003, with Nuclear Assault, Marduk, Death Angel, Propane, Malevolent Creation, Darkane. So that was a festival tour they did in, in Germany. And that was such a great concert. Our old guitar player was uh, stage diving uh, constantly at the Testament show. And it was uh, that good. <clears throat> I went twice. So, same, li same, li same lineup. Uh, they forgot to write down uh, Death Angel on that one, but De Death Angel also played. So, Nuclear Soul, Testament, Marduk. Great, great little concert. The LP version came out a little bit later, but uh, as soon as the tour was over, they released it as a DVD live in London. Same track list. This one comes with a short interview with uh, Chuck Billy. No booklet in that. Just the same pictures as in the LP version. After the Dark Roots of Earth, they played a US tour, a big US tour in uh, 2013. And they released Dark Roots of Thresh on vinyl. Again, 15, 19 songs on uh, that one. This one sounds a little bit touched up. Uh, they twiddled the knobs and maybe re-recorded some stuff. The audience sounds a little unnatural to me, but still a great live recording. Rise Up, More Than Meets the Eye. Of course, they played uh, a lot more uh, newer songs as uh, they were in uh, album number three of the reunion. Uh, Native Blood, True American Hate. Dark Roots of Earth, Riding the Snake, Eyes of Wrath, they played DNR, another favorite of mine. So Testament, Dark Roots of Thrash. So we are in the five Testament live records, more than you thought, huh? And of course, they released this on uh, DVD and CD version. I bought that cheap on, on eBay. I think it was eight euros, something like that. It's a metal box. It comes with a booklet. And it's got two CDs and a DVD. So there you go. Testament. Look it up if you like. Testament live stuff. Try to get some of those. Um, prepare to spend quite a buck. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. Cheers, the community. Nice to be back. <laughs> Who knows for how long. Enjoy whatever you do after watching the video. Maybe you will jerk off. I will fuck off now. Good night.